Hello, welcome to a brow box tutorial. This tutorial is non-stretching bone animations. What that is, is basically, if you remember the other tutorial a long time ago, where we put Captain Falcon's Falcon Punch on Mario, when Mario went to do the animation, he would stretch to look like Captain Falcon. We're going to be doing a really easy method to correct this, and in doing so, you'll learn how to do that for every animation on every character. And it's a really great result, and so you'll be able to add all those moves you wanted to add before, but couldn't because it just looks stupid. So we're going to start off. You're going to have to open up Brawlbox. Once it opens, you go File, Open. And what you need is the model for the character that you're going to be putting the move on. And what we're going to be doing is Mario. So you will need the character model for Mario to follow along with this tutorial. So that should be fit mario 00pack So open that up and go to Model Data, Model, Model, right click and preview on it. This will open up the preview editor. Uh, if you don't know how to edit or move around or navigate in the preview editor, or the advanced model editor as it's called, please uh, watch previewing 3D models tutorial. Uh, once we're here, we can see that he has some character animations of his own, but we're going to need to load an external file, that file being Captain Falcon's uh, motion pack. If you don't have this, check out downloading of all necessary files. It should be in there. So open up fit captain motion, etc. dot pack. With that done, it will give you a whole bunch of stuff. And as you can see, when we let's just do walk fast, we can see that he like he looks like Captain Falcon as much as Mario could look like Captain Falcon. We're going to be fixing this. Also, we're going to be doing the Falcon Punch. So scroll down until you find special N, which equates to pressing B on your controller, or just a normal special, which is the Falcon Punch for Captain Falcon. So when he goes, and he punches, and it's great. But what we're going to be doing now is go to frame 1, now click the little arrow here and go to frame 0. And as you can see, every frame 0 for every animation is Mario's T-stance. So what we're going to be doing now is going over to here, transform all, copy. What that is is copy all the parameters here. And then we're going to be going to uh, frame 1 and paste it. And so now frame 0 and frame 1 should be the same. But now let's play the animation and see what happened. It looks like Mario is doing a Falcon Punch, exactly the same. Go back to frame 1, and with frame 1 on your slider, um, insert under the transform all. So that now you have 101 frames, but um, frame 0, 1, and 2 are the same thing. With this completed, um, all you have to do is right click on your special N over here, Right click, export, and you can export it to wherever you want. Um, I do to the desktop so that I can find it really easy. And make sure to save it with like a space dash space um, tutorial version or something like that. Now, for me, when I click save, Rawbox um, takes a really long time to do it. And so if you look, I can't minimize or do anything. It's Windows will report it as non-responding. Don't If you get this as well, don't worry. Just wait. And um, when I did it, it took a while. So make if you want to minimize this before so you can do other things on your computer while this is happening or whatever, but just wait for it to finish. And when it does, um, you'll be able to use Realbox again. But don't close it because it is working. It's just taking a really long time to think. And so I'm going to pause the video, and when this finishes, I'll restart it and we'll continue. All right, I'm back after the pause. Um, mine took me about 10 minutes. And so if you do have that thing, uh, we'll be doing kind of the same thing again, where it will take a long time to do something in the future. So just be prepared to um, have to wait again. It is a lengthy process. however much shorter than redoing all the animations, all the frames, by yourself. So now that we're done with that, we are done. So just close. 
uh, we don't have to save the external file because we exported the only one we need. And then we're back in Brawlbox and you can file open. And now we're going to have to open up Mario's uh, motion file because we're going to have to put it in Mario's. Makes sense to me. So navigate to where you have Mario's um, motion pack. Open that up with Brawlbox. Once you've opened up Mario's motion pack, it will be within Fit Mario Motion, animation data, animation, could whatever. And by all means, you don't have to have it as Mario's uh, special N. It could definitely be any other one of his animations. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will be doing Mario's special N because it's just relatable and easy to manage. So right click on Mario Special N, replace, and replace it with our exported uh, animation data from Captain Falcon. With this complete, we can now file save as, because we're going to have to open up Mario's model file again, and then in the external for the advanced model editor, or animation editor, we will open up this instead of Captain Falcon's. So save it as something you'll remember, tutorial version, save it to somewhere you'll remember. With this complete, we can go file, open, and navigate back to um, Mario's model file. Mario, fit Mario 00. .pack. Model, 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 preview, full screen if you should choose. I like to rotate it to the side a bit. Makes them look so much cooler. Open up the sides. And of course, load the external file. That external file being our new tutorial version of Mario's motion pack with the edited Falcon Punch. Once that's loaded, you can see he has, like these are all Mario's moves, except we've replaced Mario's special N with Captain's Falcon's. But not just that, we had edited it so it looks like Mario's doing it. So go all the way down until we find the special N. I might have passed it, I think I did. Ah, here. Right here. Then when you play, it should be Mario's Falcon Punch. My frame rate on this is a little bit low because I'm running the Camtasia, but yours should be better. And it will look a lot more fluid in game as well. And so now what we need to do is now that we know it's there, we're going to go up, up, up to his waiting animation. And you can choose wait one, wait two, or wait three. Doesn't really matter. I like wait one because it's, it's kind of, you know, what he's doing. And we're going to copy all, or in the transform, copy. And then we're going to paste this on the first frame, which used to be the T-bone, which is, and will not be anymore, the T-bone stance. Because we don't want him to look like he's just playing around. And then when he uses his special, he goes into his T-stance for a quick second, and then does the punch. So we want him to be a little bit more fluid. And so on frame one, you can paste. And then on frame two, you can um, either paste it again if you want that, or you could just um, copy frame two of his weight animation, put it there. So it'll look just like when he's playing, he'll be in his weight animation or running or whatever. And then it will just do the standard transition into the weight and then into the attack. It'll look a lot more fluid than what it looks like in the editor. And so now with that done, you are actually finished making it look like Mario's doing a Mario Falcon Punch. And as such, you can save this. And this, when you click save, will again, this is the second time that's going to take some time. And see, just to explain, we open up an external file, and then it, we're editing that external file through the Mario model. And so we're just using that this model for reference, but we're actually editing Mario Motion, etc. in this. And so when we save, it's going to take a while, and so I'm going to pause the video again, and I'll pop back up when it... 
So we can close all of this now because we are now finished.